Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to Outbreak News TV. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about the mm, series of events uh, leading up to um, the first Nipah virus outbreak of 2021, and this happens to be in Kerala State, India. And yesterday, I came across this report when it was still a suspected case, and they say suspected Nipah virus case in Kerala's Kazhikodi, 13-year-old um, boy hospitalized. And the health department was waiting for confirmation at that point. They said it would be expected Sunday, and indeed it was. And um, the patient was Cholor from Cholor. The boy was admitted to the hospital with a high fever a few days ago. And preliminary tests have hinted at the possibility of Nipah. And they were expecting the confirmation on Sunday. Um, so we'll go right ahead to what I came across this morning. And this is from the um, government of Kerala. And this is the first thing I found. And it was uh, a message from the health minister. Health minister Vina George said that caution should be exercised as the Nipah virus has been confirmed again in the state. Everyone needs to know what Nipah virus is and what precautions to take for it. She says this is the third time that Nipah has been affected in the state, earlier in 2018 and 2019. So those were the last two outbreaks. And I remember the 2019, 2019 one pretty well. There was 19 cases and 17 fatalities, I believe. Um, and she says that the Nipah was confirmed. And we can go on... To verify that on the next page, this is also from uh, the Kerala government, the health department. And it says the Nipah outbreak in Kahiskude, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, um, is reported on September 4th and received confirmation from the National Institute of Virology in Pune um, on September 5th. Right there. And this came out from the... Um, Press Information Bureau in the Government of India, and this was this morning. A case of Nipah virus has been detected in this district of Kerala. Um, it was a 12-year-old boy, so that's a correction from the in initial suspected report, who presented with features of encephalitis and myocarditis, uh, which was reported on September 3 um, in the state. And they say that... Uh, the central government has rushed a team from the CDC to the state, which will be reaching today. The team will provide technical support to the state. Uh, the following immediate public health measures have been advised by the center. Active case search in the family, families, village, and other areas. Active contact tracing during the past 12 days. Strict quarantine of the contacts and isolation. And collection and transportation of samples for laboratory testing. And this is actually the uh, second outbreak in Kazhikure. Um, 2018 was the last one. In 2019, it was an outbreak in Kochi, uh, another area of Kerala State. And then there was a string of tweets that came across um, from also from the public information excuse me, Public Information Bureau in Kerala. And I do some translating here. So the central team investigates Nipah virus outbreak. They arrive. And goes on. At the, they're at the home of the 12 year old who died of Nipah virus. Uh, the central team visited um, the area in the city. According to relatives, the 12-year-old boy who died had eaten rambutan fruit. In the wake of this, the central team has collected samples of the rambutan fruit. And we'll, we'll figure out why that's important in a moment. Uh, this will check if the bats have arrived. This is to identify whether the virus is most prevalent in bats. So it looks like they're going to be testing uh, for bats also, see if any of them have uh, Nipah virus. Doctors from the National CDC uh, visited the area, talked to people, including the parents and close relatives 
of the children. And it continues, everyone is advised to be extra vigilant and inform health professionals as soon as possible if they have similar symptoms as the 12 year old did. And the final tweet in the string is, the central team directly instructed the locals on protocol to be followed in their homes and surroundings and the steps to be taken. So that was in the past uh, six or seven hours out of the, from the Public Inf Information Bureau in Kerala. Okay, and then this report out, out of the Hindustan Times um, tells us that authorities have put a total of 30 persons linked to the boy's case under observation and sent 17 samples for testing. Um, let's see. The health minister, Vina George, said the boy was admitted to a private hospital with high fever a few days ago. And initially, he was suspected of suffering from brain fever, but later samples were rushed for further testing. Um, she said all the relatives of the boy and all those involved in his treatment were put under quarantine. Authorities have put a total of 30 persons linked to the boy's case under observation and sent 17 samples for testing. Um, see, no need to panic, but high vigil, vigilance is the need of the hour. I am also leaving for Kosikate. I, I wish I knew how to pronounce that. That would have helped, uh, according to uh, minister, uh, the health minister. Uh, other health ministers are going to be following in Kerala to uh, evaluate the situation. Uh, so that's a, a report from the, this morning uh, from the Hindustan Times. And what is Nipah virus? I mean, this is not something we hear about every day here in the U.S. Uh, the first uh, outbreak, I guess the first discovery of Nipah was in an outbreak of disease in pigs and people in Malaysia. Uh, a little over 20 years ago. And I think there was about 276 cases and a good portion of them died. More than 100 of them died. And it caused a lot of devastation with the uh, pig population too because they had to be culled uh, to control the outbreak. Now, since then, there's been no, no other known outbreaks of Nipah in Malaysia or Singapore. And when we do see... Nipah virus outbreaks in South Asia, primarily is Bangladesh and India. Um, the virus has been shown to spread from person to person in these outbreaks, uh, raising concerns about the potential of Nipah to cause a global pandemic. It's a Nipah virus is a member of the Hanipah virus family genus, excuse me, Hanipah virus genus. It's a zoonotic virus. Uh, the animal host is the fruit bat, uh, genus Terebus. It's a, also known as the flying fox. It's that really huge bat. Um, infected fruit bats can spread the disease to people or other animals such as pigs. People can become infected if they have close contact with an infected animal or its body fluids, such as saliva or urine. Uh, initial spread... This initial spread from animal to person is known as a spillover event. Once it spreads to people, person to person spread can also occur. The, the fatality rate is roughly about 40 to 70 percent. It's really high, very, very serious uh, pathogen. Uh, the transmission spread to people from a direct contact with infected animals like bats or pigs or their body fluids. Uh, consuming food products that have been contaminated by body fluids or infected animals. And this is where it comes in into play about uh, the child uh, uh, eating that particular fruit. Um, so other kinds of fruit that are contaminated by the bat, the bat that may be chewing on the fruit and leaves them saliva behind. Um, palm sap, that's a very common uh uh, mode of transmission and of, of course also person to person so close family members healthcare workers working with NEPA uh, patients uh, are at risk um, person to person spread is 
regularly reported in Bangladesh and India. Uh, this is commonly seen in our area said this family and caregivers of of the fam of the patient and the healthcare uh, setting. Uh, transmission also occurs from exposure to food products that have been contaminated by infected animals, including the con consumption of raw date palm sap or fruit that's been contaminated with saliva or urine from infected bats. So that's the kinds of things you need to avoid and we'll, and we'll bring that up now in prevention. Um, uh, hand, good hand washing, of course, for anything. Uh, avoid contact with sick bats or pigs. Avoid areas where bats are known to roost. Avoid consumption of raw date palm sap. Avoid consumption of fruits that may be contaminated by bats. And avoid contact with the blood or body fluids of any person that are known to be infected with uh, Nipah virus. Now, other geographic locations may be at risk for Nipah infections in the future. Uh, regions where flying foxes are present. These bats are currently found in Cambodia, Indonesia, Madagascar, the Philippines, and Thailand. So people living in or visiting these areas should consider taking the same precautions um, as in areas where outbreaks have already occurred. Okay, and so we've had a handful of outbreaks in India we know 2018 and 2019. I think there was some in the earlier part of the 2000s, 2004 approximately. Uh, but Bangladesh uh, has seen outbreaks or cases almost every single year since 2001. And let's take a look at uh, Bangladesh's list. Yearly distribution of Nipah cases in Bangladesh. And you can see from 2001 to 2020, only 2002, 2006, and 2016 had no cases. And of all these years, of those two decades, uh, Bangladesh saw 319 cases, 225 were fatalities, a little, a hair over 70% case fatality. So very, very serious pathogen, nothing to play around with. And uh, anyway, we'll, we'll be at the website, outbreaknewstoday.com. We'll be keeping a close eye on the events um, with the Nipah virus outbreak and see if anything else pops up. So continue to um, monitor outbreaknewstoday.com for that um, type of information. And I wanna thank you for watching. Share the video, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment below. Like, love to hear what you gotta say. And I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.